small town business owners Wyatt and Lance Bush team together to form Craven Customs. A father and son duo scavenging the web along with the Northeast Texas woods in search of rusty relics. While buying and building on a budget, they recreate and preserve hidden patina, giving each one a story of its own. Chasing their passion, they're giving the past a future, saving lost dreams one vehicle at a time. With help from God, these guys are turning rust. Brought to you in part by Maxed Trailers. Well guys, we just received another lead on some potentially more rust around the shop. Uh, this one's just a little bit more intriguing to me because this car is completely free. Uh, supposedly it's an old Volkswagen, it's been setting up for some time now. Uh, the gentleman just wants it off his property. Unfortunately, he had no interest on being on camera, uh, so we're just gonna drive over there. If it's something that we think we can use around the shop, we're most definitely gonna load it up and take her home with us. I believe this is a spot. Yep. No trespassing sign. Looks like a perfect place to be nosing around with some cameras. <laughs> he said an old barn he was going to tear down. This definitely yep. <laughs> looks like it meets a criteria. Definitely. Guess he's got it locked with his little thorn bushes <laughs> there. Oh yeah. She's not too bad. No. <laughs> That looks good. Man, any, anytime someone says that they got something for free, I'm always <laughs> expecting the very worst, but... They've got it three-legged. They've got a wheel off over here. I don't know if it's messing with the brakes or... Oh, yeah? But it, the beat is broke, so it could have been just a flat tire. Man, I'd say probably early 70s or so. Oh, Pretty yeah. straight. Mm -hmm. Until it's been sitting here a while, though. Yeah. It's pretty clean on the inside, looks like. Dang, the inside's nicer than the outside. Uh -huh. Even the top. Seats are nice. Dash. Dang. <laughs> Is it yeah. pretty good? Yeah, it looks good. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's ever been set on. Man, this is a deal here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Like I said, most of the time when anybody's ever give me something or I've give somebody something else, uh, most of the time it's just not worth anything. And we're one up on this one here. It's got the uh, key in the ignition. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, I wonder if it's got a motor in it. I doubt it, but... Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's got, the, got it more than just a... Somebody's motor. been busy on this thing. There's another Opal deal there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Whether it's more spiders or more whatever that built that in there. <laughs> I wonder if it's still there is a problem. Yeah. This would be neat to do a uh, will it run on. Yeah. Yeah, it would. It would be cool to see it drive itself out of this <laughs> this garage and onto the trailer. Yeah, but... It's more like a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like maybe it caught fire at one time. Yeah. I noticed it's kind of... I wonder if that's the reason why they... Could be. Could be they parked it, yeah. it was having firing issues or carburetor issues or something, but. They definitely have fire now if they <laughs> got it to crank. Yeah. I mean, part of me wants to try it. I mean, you never know. We'll clean it out. We really ain't got nothing to lose. Right, yeah. Find out if it's locked up or not. It, well. <laughs> <laughs> it tries to turn over. Yeah. Missing the distributor hurts. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's buried up underneath all that other stuff yeah. there. Most of the wiring surprisingly looks untouched though yeah i say let's give it a shot sure. i mean he basically said have free will do whatever y'all want to do over there but i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean well of course if it takes us too long we'll just load it on the trailer but yeah uh, we've got enough tools i think we can clean it out and at least yeah. try to cripple it along or something yeah put a battery so. on it see if it turns over 
shouldn't take too many tools. Like I said, it's just pop a few things here and there. And yeah. I mean, we, we know Volkswagen's pretty well, yeah. so at this point, give it a shot. I mean, yeah. what we got to lose? Yeah, nothing to lose on it <laughs> Free at all. Volkswagen, that worst case scenario, we'll just venture on the trailer and head back to the shop. But yep. Let's see if we can grab some buckets or something just to put that mess in, and I'll grab a battery and see if she turns over. All right. We're always looking for deals around the shop, and sometimes really good deals just catch up with us. Uh, that's what it looks like exactly happened with this car right here. Gentleman had contacted me, he had an old barn he was wanting to tear down, needed this old vehicle just out of his way. Uh, she's pretty clean, she's pretty straight, and I'm pretty happy right now. Looks to be complete on the motor other than a whole lot of extras that a mouse or a squirrel or something has left behind. So right now we're just gonna dig into it, try to get all that mess and stuff out of the way, see if she'll turn over, uh, see if she'll get some fire, and maybe she'll crank up again. I couldn't find anything to put something in. Yeah, I right. found this old bucket and some gloves here. Oh yeah, got the battery. You pretty trustworthy find. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. That's, I look, but that's not what, that's not the way I'm going to find it. I'm sure. Yeah. I think I'm just going to barehand it rather than chance some old nasty gloves. Although there's no telling what's in here. <laughs> I do know one thing what? that's in there because I can see it sitting on top there. You're right though, we're going to have to clean this up pretty good because these cars being air cool, they don't want to catch on fire yeah. real quick. Yes, it will. Yeah. How in the world do they even... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, bringing in one or two sticks at a time, how do you get it <laughs> packed that full? And it's tight too. Made a bigger mess. I'm just hoping nothing runs out again. Yeah, I hate it's, it's all right down inside that distributor and stuff. The points even in there? Hard to tell. Yeah, it's still on. <laughs> what that tastes like. <laughs> Didn't I taste need like... a bigger bucket. Yeah, I think we're going to. I'd have to set this on fire, burn it, and then... I don't know, do we have any other gloves? <laughs> uh, it's getting a little nastier than what... Bunch of... oh. There's these ones, but I don't know what kind of count they are. Yeah. Probably safer than... Yeah. Safer than skin, not, yeah. yeah. Goodness, eh? They got it everywhere. I just hope they ain't got this. Uh, oh, that fan thing? Shroud full of it, too. We'll probably know real quick if it turns over. It'll be rackety. Oh, there's a rotor button. Oh, yeah. yeah. I found that. That'll be hard to get it running without that. <coughs> Let me see it sitting there. Got some wires loose too, so we're gonna. I don't think that boat. I just hope whatever it is is gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not, he's gonna be mad. <laughs> Still has all the duct work for the heater. Yeah. Which really don't work very good at all, anyways, when they're working fine. <laughs> They were probably using that to get from one side to the other. Whatever critter was in here. I hope it's got the plugs and stuff in it. Oh yeah, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Oh, found the dipstick accidentally. <laughs> Hopefully nothing got down in there. I can't see where it goes. Does have oil in it though. Does it? Yeah. That's start of a good sign anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this 
spider. Couldn't tell if it was dead or alive. <laughs> Half this stuff I'm just trying to get loose and we can pick it back up once we get the car right. moved if we got to. He said he just he's said fixed, he's gonna tear it up. That's what I said if he's to tear it down, it probably doesn't matter to him. Oh yeah, it turns over. Yeah, it's it's crutchy. Something, <laughs> something hung down in there. I think it got locked up on an acorn. <laughs> oh, I have... It's all back behind that yeah, crank pulley. Yep. I can see it trying to work it out of there. At least it had the breather on it still. I'm surprised. Rusty, but other than that, it's not too bad. Does the linkage even work or does it froze up? Well, it, that's easy. I, I figured I was going to tug on it pretty hard, but it worked really well. I don't know if we're ever going to get it <laughs> out of everywhere. Oh, there's some big stickers down there. You know, we've been really lucky though. We had never come across anything come running out at us. Yeah, come fighting us. Yep. For their home. As soon as you say that. Yeah. I said I'm surprised it doesn't look like most of these wires were messed with. I guess it was more interested in sticks and whatever else it was finding to pull up in here. Many turds as there are, it was definitely eating something. I wish there was a hole in the bottom of that down there so you could... Yeah, I might be able to turn it and let it come out. I'm turning over a lot better. Ugh. Hard spot or something. So I think it's just all that stuff down in there, though. Man, already looks a hundred times better. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, see what we got. So I don't know if this is a 1600 or smaller or what, but they didn't make a whole lot of power, but they were sure dependable, in my yeah. opinion. I don't know how they got up in some of them spots and why. No. Why it was up in some of those. You'd almost think it almost has to be a mouse to be yeah. as tight of the areas as it's getting. I don't see a squirrel getting in some of them spots, but then again, I've seen them do some strange things. Yeah, you can actually see what, I totally missed the bucket. <laughs> you can actually see what we're working with now, though. Check that oil again now that I got it. Nothing's going to fall back in there. Yeah, I can see us now trying to drive, crank this thing up and drive it out of here and this stuff as dry as it is, yeah. <laughs> catching on fire. Flame. <laughs> oh, looks good. A little above the full, full mark. I'd rather it be there than below. You checked the antifreeze in it yet? 
Uh, I was trying to get to the radiator. As soon as I get down there to it, I'll. <laughs> it might take a while it. finding it. <laughs> well, other than just little small stuff, I got a bucket full. I thought it was going to be more than that. I still got some back in here. I can't. I got some of those sticks and things in there. You say you did find that roller button now? Yeah. I so didn't make it, so. I put it in my pocket. Oh. Yeah, like that. I mean, those sticks are. I'm gonna look and see. Oh, uh, yeah. We're gonna have to try to clean all that out of that distributor there. You got a screwdriver. I'm using this wrench, and it's too okay. big. <coughs> it's getting at the back of my throat. <laughs> Easy thing to do instead of trying to cough it up and swallow it. <laughs> it goes down easier with than it does coming up. It's dry coming up, it's wet going down. Man, I can't really get some of that stuff down there. Beneath the beneath the mess, the points don't look terrible. I think we can definitely clean them. The button don't look bad at all. I bet they were. I start saying, I wonder what they had. They were probably replacing all that stuff. And then whatever built this home come out and scared them, and they <laughs> <laughs> took off. Got my hand hung here. I think I'm going to try to put that battery on there. Uh, said there was a key in the ignition. Yeah, the key switch. was in. Uh, it may not be the right one, but there was one in there. Yeah. Put the battery on it. You may see if you can get at that stuff a little bit better. See if she'll at least turn over. Okay, I'm gonna blow, so. Yeah. I don't know what went down inside it, but. I don't know what that noise is. I see a stick in there. The behind the crank? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still got a bunch of sticks coming up with it and stuff. Yeah, I'll let you get at that and I'll go ahead and try to hook okay. this up, make sure it's even gonna be the right post we need. The door's a little rusty. Oh heck, it even has a a main doing stuff in here. Oh yeah? Yep. A few of them. Oh, and the running boards. <laughs> Would you believe that the battery tray is rusty? <laughs> no, nothing. Actually, it's not that bad. Usually, it's the first thing to go. It'll. Yeah, now I'll set the battery down in there. It may be a different story. No sparking or nothing. Okay, we got one wire for sure loose here. I don't know what it goes to. But... Uh, I'll take that off. Wait, I just put it there because I didn't want to knock yeah. it over and lose it. So. Well, you think we got it clean enough to... A little bit more in here. I mean, it should if it's going to turn over. Well, I like that. Yeah, mine's got plugs. Yeah, I've seen that over here. I'm gonna try to see if it'll turn over. Everything out of the way as far as you can tell. 
Nothing that's gonna suck down there in the carburetor, is it? No. Let's see what she does. Ready? She out of gear? Well, yeah, we've been turning it over. Oh, yeah, so. okay. Yeah, it ain't trying nothing. Ignition switch is pretty. Is that what? Huh? Maybe this green wire goes to that? Uh, I don't, nah, it, it should don't just look be like wires it. run down to the oh, to starter and yeah. the yep. solenoid. I don't know what that would have went to. It comes up to the coil, these. but I don't know what it. I'm going to check these cables on the battery. I don't know what the distributor. He said that ignition switch is kind of pretty sloppy, too. Might be that positive cable. It's got a it's got a weird wire running off of it that ain't connected real well. You clear? Clear. Okay. She turns over. She turns over, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna keep turning it over. Okay. There's no spark, but like I said, this green wire, and I'm going to keep going after this green wire, it goes to the distributor there. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it was yeah. even going to turn over and everything first. I don't really hear anything that uh -uh. should give us any sign of we should stop now. Um, like what? Oh, snake! <laughs> You might try that. take that screwdriver and at least just go ahead and sc scratch at them points and clean it up. Alrighty, let me Let's see. Put my gloves off here so I can, something I can work with. I'm trying to figure out where, you say this comes off of the distributor? Yeah, it there? comes right in, right in here at the back. Yeah, so yeah. that's going to be the main thing that's going to get the spark down to the points. It'll come off to the coil. Um, I'm going to say that's going to be the positive side because it's got several things coming off of it. But that should go there. And I may have pulled it off loose whenever I was. Yeah. Clean them um, points yeah. and try it. I'm glad to see she's at least turning over though. Worst case scenario, we could try push starting it, but <laughs> <laughs> we might have pushed it a long ways. I don't know if I've got anything that'd be a little bit. I don't have no sandpaper or anything like that to scratch. I got out. a decent scratch on one side, so maybe it'll. Uh, you try it. You think yeah, you got a good enough? I think or? so. Give it a shot. Uh, if not, I can I can scrape some more. Clear. Uh, yeah, everything's clear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got lots of fire. Okay. You gotta, you gotta turn that ignition switch back some just to get it to stop. Otherwise, it just stays and the starter just keeps going. It yeah. is firing now? Yeah, we got lots of fire. I wonder what... Oh, that's oh. just to the choke there, I think. So that probably went back up on that. Yeah, so I ran to that. Didn't have very far it could run, was it? It had to hook in somewhere. I think she's going to run. I really do. Go ahead and put the cap on it. Uh, I'd say why not. I mean, it's going to be kind of a chore to get them plugs out. Uh, well, I mean, somewhat. We can at least try it first, you know. We know if it cranks up, we're getting fire to the plugs. And right. If not, then we'll move forward on pulling them out and cleaning them or whatever. Checking all the cap and all that stuff. I don't know. I know this front one on mine is, is connected. I don't know about Yeah, the back one's fine. Well, you want me to go grab some, some starting fluid and spray off in there and see what it does? Yeah. They see if it tries to spit or sputter or something. 
I'll go grab some and we'll try it out. We're basically at a point right now where we're getting really close to seeing if this thing even has any life left in her. Uh, now that we've got all the debris, all the nest out of the way, it actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, most of the wires still seem to be intact. Uh, we had a few that had been unplugged, probably when we were just pulling stuff loose. Uh, other than that, it's turning over fine. The uh, starter seems to be working good. Seems like we have good compression. Uh, we know we're getting fire to the points. So as long as we've got a good cap, good wires, good plugs, it should be sending everything to the cylinders. All we're lacking is just a little fuel at the carburetor. Uh, so right now, Dad's going to spray a little starting fluid in there. I'll turn over the key, see what she does. Ready? Uh, about as ready as I'm going to be. Here we go. All righty. Fire in the hole. Uh. Close. Yeah. Man, try it one more time. All righty. She actually runs! <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Yep. That's good. It ain't smoking, it ain't nothing. Uh-uh, no, it's... It sounds good. I don't, know, I don't know why they parked it. Like I said, hopefully it was something to do with the brakes, but it's crazy how long something can sit out here, something else completely take over it, and yeah. then, you know, and then you, yeah. a little work, you can get it up and going. Yep. It's still shaking loose, all that stuff, though. I mean, there's yeah. still a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned out or blown out. Yeah, but washed out with a pressure washer or something. I don't know. I don't think we can claim victory at this point. I would love to, like I said, it, we know it runs, but to see it actually, you know, drive, drive on a trailer yeah. maybe. Yeah, because you never know. It could be transaxle that, yeah. that's bad on that's it or whatever. True. It so could you be never bad know. clutch or yeah. whatever. But I say let's hook, uh, hook some fuel up to that fuel pump, see if it's pumping. I don't really want to chance that gas tank that's in it. So right, yeah. That's... You know, as long as this thing's been sitting. Let's hook some fuel up to that fuel pump and... Uh, Man, wishful thinking, drive this old girl out of here. <laughs> yeah. I think it will. I'll Watch our too. only problem be the stinking tires not take we'll air. Not take so. air and be flat. <laughs> we'll drive them on flats. So. Yeah, <laughs> no. I will. <laughs> I'll grab a gas tank. Alrighty. Uh. Got our old trustworthy gas tank here. <laughs> I'd like to try to run it to the fuel pump if we can. That's what I was trying to see if I could get that turned around there so I could get at it with the screwdriver. Worst case scenario, we can just gravity feed it if the fuel pump don't work, but I'm thinking if it'll work, I think that bad boy will strap right there. Oh. Hot? It's hot, yep. I uh, better let the key on. You'll see. Yeah, I left the key on. <laughs> I guess when it died earlier, we just left the key sitting there, so it was getting hot. What do you think? I don't know. It's kind of turned in there where I can't hardly can't hardly get at it. Yeah. The inlet would be at the back one. That's hard to get at, huh? Yep. Can you take it loose on the um, the filter there? Yeah. Go ahead on the back side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I knew that would be the easy way to go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I lost the. It drops straight down. Uh, yeah. There it is. Well. Let's see. I'm going to gather that little bit of extra length here and take this out. I don't know if that hose is going to fit on there or not. Oh yeah, it should. Hey, let's go ahead and run this, trying to make sure the way it'll fit. So if it works, yeah, let's run that up there. The way it can kind of sit like that. Nice and safe right there by the exhaust and at the back of the car. <laughs> there we go. 
crush. I can't get it to go in there. Oh, wow, yeah. Hopefully that thing will still work and pump. Said if not, we'll just hook it straight into it. Oh, that was a little loose there, too. Top one there. This one put a little fuel in it. You want to just, I guess I can pour a little gas down in there. It'll run a little longer off that gas than it will that starter fluid. Let me situate myself here. I wouldn't put a whole lot in it, just enough to see if it's even gonna pick it up. Maybe a little bit more. Ah, that's good, that's good. Oops. Right. Say it, I'll put a little bit in the carburetor. Oh, okay. Probably need to get a little cup or something. Yeah, let me find something. I can try to pour, pour that in. Uh, there's something around here. We'll just use the starter fluid for now. Okay. Let's try to yeah. Try to keep it going and start saying it's a little. Should be able to tell once it picks it up. Try it. Yeah. Hopefully Just... that cool didn't get too hot. Ready? Ready. Spray it a little bit. All right, here we go. why I'm a, <laughs> such a super fan of Volkswagens. It seems like these things can just be set and neglected and everything else and just a little love they'll fire right up. Yeah. Yep. He said yeah I just need to be sure that's away from anything that's going to get yeah just get warm. Trying to kink right there is the only thing I was worried about. Yeah. We might have some zip ties we can try to, you know, strap it across over there. Yeah, I Something think yeah, like that'd that. be better. Just strap it. We can put this strap on there. And okay. <laughs> and we <laughs> be kind of the, the pinto scenario. The <laughs> gas tank in the back, so we don't want to don't want anybody to rear end us, that's for sure. That's right. Uh man. Should I try to we want to try to get some air in these tires and see if it'll Yeah. Then see if we go in gear and Leaking a little bit? A little bit of gas leak there. Yeah. yeah, they've got it spliced some. Yeah, I guess I'll I wait to strap this down. Ain't no need to strap it down. Can't get the tires aired up. Yeah, let's shoot some, move some of this stuff off of it, shoot some air in the tires, and then I'll try to see if it'll go in gear, see if the clutch, you know, seems to work and everything. But at least, you know, 
one gear. <laughs> if it'll, and as long as it's a forward gear, right? Yeah, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll get her moved out of here. Okay. I'll go grab that little little air tank and uh, shoot a little bit to it. Like I said, okay. hopefully they'll even take care. You can tell they're dry rotted as can be, though. They're ready. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can check. Make sure this thing's got somewhere. I'll to grab go. some zip ties. Okay. I was really hoping that we could take advantage of our onboard air on our trailer here. Uh, it only works so good when you actually have a hose to use with it. So unfortunately, we've got an air tank here. Uh, we're only going to have so much air to air up them tires. Hopefully it'll be enough just to get it out of the shop and move it onto the trailer. Well, unfortunately, we must have left the air hose to the trailer at the shop. So. Oh, yeah. We have about this much air to try to get those things <laughs> up off the ground. Now one being broke loose from the bead over there, that's going to be that's, fun on here. Yeah. I guess I'll see what they do. So they got good tread, but they're just all pretty dry rotted. Go sparingly yeah. on each one enough to... <laughs> yeah. Something about that rubber. If it's not being used, it's gonna it's gonna dry out and crack. Well, this one's taking it. Yeah, that one took some. That's good. So far, so good. Don't let us forget that breather there. Oh, okay. So yes. Yeah. Come on. Doing something. Yeah. As rough as the tires we've that have held <laughs> yeah. there, these better at least try. Yeah, it's taking it. Good enough she down two to go. Good enough she'll roll a lot better. I'm getting pretty stinking low on my tank though. Ooh, this one here is rough for sure. <laughs> Looks like it may have had some front end issues too. It's wore pretty funny. Let me just bring this one over there to you. Yeah, we'll look at it. It broke loose on both sides? Both or? sides, yep. Yeah, that ain't good. Yeah, I see it's all yeah. cracked too. I don't think I'm going to have enough air. The valve stems out of it even. One thing going to keep us from a stinking tire. <laughs> there's, a, there's a valve stem. Oh, yeah? I don't see it. It's a weird looking valve stem remover, but there's no way. There's no way that's gonna blow it up on there. I've got <laughs> very <laughs> little left. Two pounds? Yeah. Um You think we could get it to mount up on there with starting fluid? <laughs> I mean I don't know it, that I really want to take that approach with as dry I know as it, it is, but it'll work. It's, I said normally we'd have just the trailer we could use right. air off of it, but without a hose we're kind of yeah <laughs> crippled there. Crippled, and we can't go anywhere. I mean, other you, than running. You said you found the vibe? Yeah, found the. That's, I've never seen one like that. That's yeah weird. Um, yeah. Let me go see if I got a lighter in my truck. We'll try that starting fluid. Just right. Try to get it to pop up on there. If we can hurry up and get it to pop on there, you know. If it has any air in it, go ahead and try to put your finger over it or something, and then I'll shoot what air we've got okay. left. But I'll go see if we got a lighter. Okay, and... I'm going to move some leaves. All right. Yeah, I found a lighter. It's just kind of hit and miss, though. So All righty. I think it'll work. You want to do it laying down? Yeah, we'll lay her down. I mean, nobody's got to mess with it. It's going to have to get down in there pretty good. I want to get you a little trail too. Yeah. yeah. Should be good. Get your trail. 
Have at it. No. Work. <laughs> It'll go out. Hot touch. Hot. It's hot. Let me shoot this there real quick. <laughs> you can get that loud stem in there. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work at first. I've got about 25 pounds. Pretty hot. It was hot. <laughs> and then my foot, and I put my foot over it and my foot caught on fire, my shoe caught on fire. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I love the smell of burnt thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping this wasn't going to be the only thing that was going to keep us from driving her. It's holding, right? Yeah, it hit both sides. <laughs> I think that's good enough to mount it on there. Like I said, I'm down to the slim pickings on the air. We can kind of pick which one looks the lowest and add the top top it off but other than that in case we need that later yeah <laughs> i hope not is there a jack over there yeah, there's a jack up underneath here uh, looks like we're gonna have to jack it up again maybe not but it looks like it's yeah we're gonna have to come up come up yep let me see if i can find that screwdriver yep quite a bit At least it's not all rusted where it don't want to work. It may have brake issues. It don't want to turn, but we'll figure that Is out. Is it whenever. locked up? Pretty tight. I couldn't get it to move. I said that might be why they were having this wheel off. A little more. That's one thing I don't like about Volkswagens, though, is right. having the lug bolts a lot right. harder than the lug nuts. That's good. Good? Yep. Well, I guess we need these old rags anymore. I'm pretty happy. When we headed over here, I never expected to be able to possibly drive know, yeah. <laughs> whatever we were getting out of this thing. I'm sure he had no clue either, though. No. No, he probably figured <laughs> there's no way that thing's going to run. It's probably been sitting out there. I'm a little long. curious on getting it out of here. That door don't want to open much more, so uh, it's going to be close. Surely it will. We got it in here. Yeah. Oh. I was going to ask if you had a four-way, but I found one. A three-way, anyway. It acts like that brake's locked up, don't it? Yeah. Well, it moved a little bit. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's not completely froze up, at least. All right. Good to go down with this? Yeah. Good working, little Jack. <laughs> Yeah, that one's got, looks like it's got plenty of air to it. Good hot air to it. Yeah, hot air. <laughs> I may add a little bit more to these back ones real quick if I can, but. I'm not going to worry about that hubcap on there. Cause nah, I'll just throw it in the car. I'll throw this. If he's going to tear it down, we'll throw the four way in there too. Well, I'll put it right here with this other stuff. I guess we still need to strap down the yeah. gas tank. Yeah, I just didn't want to jump the gun on that. And right. Uh, yeah, let me try to see if I can get any more air in these back tires. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and we'll crank it up. I'll put it in gear, make sure it's even going to try to move. Alrighty, and I'll try to see if we can get secured back here. Scraping the bottom of the air now. 
how much PSI you think you can <laughs> blow back up in there? <laughs> Not a lot. Depending on which end you use? Yeah, which end I use. Yeah, I could put some hot air in one of these. <laughs> Like I said, it'll be enough to definitely get it better than a flat tire. I don't know. Surely on that side, I should, probably should have put it on this side to hold it against that, but surely that's not going to... Yeah, I'd probably go ahead and go on that other side okay. just to be safe. I think that's got it. Don't let us forget our stuff we brought with us. I don't know if we should bring that for a souvenir or not. I don't want it. Yeah, I think that should work with that hose around behind like that. Uh... Got the breather on there. I'm gonna try to see if it'll move. Alrighty. Make sure they ain't got the emergency brake pulled or something. Pretty, it's clean, but it's nasty in here too. Like, cosmetically we're good, but cleanliness is pretty gross. It can't be as bad as this was. <laughs> I think we're good. I'm gonna try it, you clear? Uh, yeah. My station. A starter hangs every once in a while. All right, I'm trying forward. All righty. Huh? Moving. I'm gonna try backwards. Reverse lights anyways, yeah. Yeah. I think it'll drive. Well, she definitely moves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we're good to go. I do too. May need to look at that door. Like I said, it's kind of tight there. Maybe we can get it to open up a little bit more. And... Yeah. Hope, well, I mean, if he's going to tear it down, though, I mean, we, I guess we could just... Yeah, yank, yank the down. door off. Yeah. We'll Hate get, to, but... Get that door open. I know it's pretty muddy out there, but... I'll hit her, <laughs> hit her, hard, hit her and hard and fast. I think we'll get her on the road. Yeah, the old base of that tree has grown up. So oh, I won't yeah. let it go open anymore. Yeah, that's, that goes to show you it's been here a while. Yeah, it's been here long enough that that tree grew and made it where it wouldn't. We might be able to move some of these leaves. We may have to dig it out some. I think that's it. Got a Use root a coming down that way. Country boy tape measure here. <laughs> About five and very little more. See if yeah, we're even close. No yeah, it'd be really close if it does. It's close. I think it'll come out of there. We can't get it. So worst case scenario, I guess if we have to, we can pull that door off. I hate yeah. to, but. It's not the only way though, I mean. It's... I say let's just try to get it up closer here and see if she comes through. And if not, we'll take drastic measures <laughs> later. <laughs> you want me to fill it up? Yeah, let's go ahead and at least get half a tank there or something while we, we ain't got much in there. Letting it run off fumes right now. <laughs> Not too much. We don't want them flat yeah. these tires. <laughs> that should be good. I don't know if she'll like unleaded. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna leave this open for right now. Okay. You want to just kind of spot me as I yeah go out, make sure that nothing. And these fenders come out a pretty good ways here, but. I think as long as I kind of get angled over a little bit, <coughs> I can come out 
pretty good. Use it, yeah. yeah. We'll know. Once we get close, we'll know. Just if I can't stop, I'll try to hurry up and throw it in reverse or something. <laughs> All right. If you hit anything, that dent was already there. <laughs> yeah. Fires up so easy. Gonna make it? Yeah, you got it so far. So close. You're good. You're good. <laughs> You're out. I'd have bet you you wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> it was close. The handbrake yep. works really good. I didn't try the foot brake, but it seemed like the handbrake works really well. You were within about half an inch one time on this one side, so oh, it wasn't yeah. much, maybe yeah. two inches on this side. You know, that was definitely, it's been in there a while, because yeah. I can't see them fighting that much to get it up inside there. No. But that old base of that tree has just grown up and made it a lot smaller of an opening. But Yeah, and well, if it had been much more, it wouldn't have come out. Yeah. Seems to be running really good though, sitting there stinking idling. <laughs> like I said, I didn't try the foot brake, but the handbrake works pretty good on it. I think if a person wanted to, they could go ahead and try to drive her home. I'm tempted to. <laughs> It'd just be, be so cool to tell him, hey, we got that Volkswagen, we end up driving her home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've drove, we've drove a lot worse than that yeah. home. I think I'm gonna try it. I mean, we got the trailer in case anything happens, yeah, just I have just follow you follow behind me and if we have any problems or any issues. If the cop pulls you over, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say let's go ahead and top off that gas tank and Hit her on down the road before we lose daylight. <laughs> well guys, we come over here to pick up what I thought was just gonna be basically some old Volkswagen parts we could use around the shop. Uh, needless to say, when we opened the door and seen this beauty sitting in there, I couldn't be happier. Uh, and the fact of knowing that she actually is running and moving uh, is just crazy to me. There's no telling how long this car has been sitting in this shed. You can tell for a long time now. Uh, we have a few issues with some dry rotted tires. Uh, luckily, we, we were able to use an old ether trick on one of them to shoot some air to it. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna, I got dad filling her up with some gas. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cripple her on to the house. The handbrake works really well. If I need to stop, I can stop the way I need to. Uh, so we'll just get her cranked up, get her moved down the road, get her to the shop and see what we can do with her. I think that's pretty much got everything we brought with us. I think so. Anything we want to take back anyways. Hard to believe we basically got her running with one tool, <laughs> a flat blade screwdriver. I guess if you want to go ahead and move the truck out of the way, I'll try to get up some speed and make it through this ditch, this okay. muddy spot, and we'll head on back to the shop. One thing about it, if you get in there, it's light enough we should be able to push, push it out. Push it out, yeah. Yeah, if you can get the trailer moved that forward, I'll go ahead and cut through it and head on home. Okay. Well, straight out of the barn, we're gonna put her through her first obstacle course of a muddy ditch. Try to hit it kind of fast. Come on, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we made it. So the handbrake works pretty good. Oh. 
getting too excited trying to jump the gun. I think that choke needs to be a little bit adjusted, but we, <laughs> we ain't really let her warm up much anyways. This is absolutely crazy that this car has sat there so long. Who probably even knew about it? Take the way with the least amount of stop signs. <laughs> People are always looking. Come on, girl. She's still a little sputtery. She ain't as healthy as she needs to be, that's for sure. Four way stop, car that's got no brakes. I know I at least got first, second, and reverse. I don't know if I'm gonna get brave enough to hit third or not. my wife. <laughs> I'm sure she's not surprised. Oh, third gear. She's rolling along pretty good. I think if it wasn't for the few hiccups on the carburetor and the bad tire, I might be able to take her cross country. I don't know if the speedometer works or not. I feel like I'm going faster than that. <laughs> Try fourth gear. <laughs> we even got fourth gear. From a graveyard to fourth gear. I'm amazed how well this little car is running. <laughs> it shifts really well. Fortunately, it stops pretty decent with this handbrake. We'll do really well with this car. I don't know what our plans exactly will be, uh, but it definitely fell in some good hands. I'm excited to see what we can do with her. It's just hard to downshift and use the handbrake too. <laughs> home girl almost out of daylight too oh the smell of sweet victory <laughs> she made it I knew she would I'm just a little worried about them tires <laughs> I guess they made it too Welcome to your new home, girl. Well, we successfully made it back to the shop and it looks like just in the nick of time. I'm pretty sure the headlights don't work on this old girl, but one thing that I do know is she seems to run fantastic. When it fired up in that gold garage as easy as it did, I had a lot of faith in this old motor. Uh, what I was a little untrusting of was these old dry rotted tires. You can feel that back one over there was doing a whole lot of shaking. But all in all, we made it back to the shop. I mean, you can't go wrong with a free car, especially one that you're able to drive home. All in all, I'm super excited to dig into this old girl. I can't wait to put our own spin on things, and we hope you enjoyed the video.
guys, thanks for watching the video. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, thank all of y'all for all the support and love you showed us over the past couple years. Uh, without y'all, none of this would be possible. We'd also like to give a huge shout out to all of our new Turn and Rust members that have really just helped us to pursue this a little further on making a bigger and better show for y'all. If you guys don't know what memberships are, it's some really cool perks that you, the viewer, will receive to get your hands on a little bit more Turn and Rust content. Some of these perks including a 24-hour early release on all of our videos, some really cool emojis that you can use in the live chats, as well as a weekly live stream where you sit down with us and you can ask us anything you would like. If this sounds like something you're interested in, just click that join button below. It will pop down all the details that give you all the different perks that are included. Once again, we appreciate all your support and love. We can't wait to see you on the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.